Welcome to HIMT's YouTube channel. In this video, we have illustrated the launching operation of Devit Launch Type Lifeboat and Freefall Launch Type Lifeboat. On board ships, we can find any one of these types. We have also illustrated the launching operation of a rescue boat. Lifeboats are carried on ships for emergency evacuation in the event of a disaster aboard a ship. So now let us look into the David launch type lifeboat. This is the most commonly used method of launching at the safest. First let us look into the preparations done before launching. Proper communication should be established. So prepare the transceivers and check their condition. In case of abandoned ship drill, connect the push button switch for recovering the boat to the receptacle and also turn on the power switch of start panel. The cable for the storage battery charging has to be detached. Ensure all crew has donned the life jackets. Now confirm the connection of the painter on the painter release device of the lifeboat and confirm the connection of the painter as far forward as practicable in board. Off the faults but outboard of everything else. Next, we have to pull out the safety pin for winch and brake lever. After that, wind the boat fall manually to take off the slack and pull out the safety pin of the David arm stop. Now, release the David arm stop by operating the handle as shown. Now, the boarding procedures can be initiated. First, confirm that the remote control wire is drawn into the lifeboat. Now open the boarding door and board the lifeboat. Ensure the bottom plug is fitted and tightened. Turn on the power supply switch and open the fuel oil valve and confirm that the cooling seawater valve is open. Check the drain valve on the exhaust pipe and fasten the seat belt. Once it's confirmed that all crew is boarded in the lifeboat, are seated and their seat belts are fastened. Then start the engine and pull down the winch remote control wire to lower the boat into the water. The boat is lowered to the embarkation deck with the help of two David arms and after the boarding of the crew, it is further lowered down to make it waterborne. The releasing of the boat from the hooks of the David can be done in two methods. One is onload release mechanism. In this method, releasing of hook is done when the boat is not fully waterborne, especially during the rough sea conditions. Confirm that the boat is as close as possible to the water surface, but ensure that the hydrostatic interlock is not triggered. Now pull out the safety pin of the release handle and open the hydrostatic interlock cover and now lift the hydrostatic interlock lever fully and hold it. Pull the release handle to the fully open position by one action and the falls would be free from the boat. Now let us look into the offload release mechanism. It is a normal and safe method and is conducted when the lifeboat is fully waterborne. After confirming that the lifeboat is waterborne, pull out the safety pin of the release handle and pull the release handle to the fully open position by one action. This would make the boat free from the faults. According to Solas chapter 3, each David launch lifeboat shall be launched and manual in the water by its assigned operating crew at least once every three months during an abandoned ship drill. After the trial run, the boat is hoisted using the winching motor. The motor stops when the arms touches the limit switch. Now let's look into the launching of freefall lifeboat. These boats are placed towards the aft of the ship and once released, it falls freely by gravity into the water. Hence, it is necessary for the crew to properly secure themselves to their seats. According to Solas, at least once every three months during an abandoned ship drill, the
the crew shall board the lifeboat properly secure themselves in their seats and commence launch procedures up to but not including the actual release of the lifeboat that is the release hook shall not be released the lifeboat shall then either be free fall launched with only the required operating crew on board or lowered into the water by means of secondary means of launching with or without the operating crew on board in both cases the lifeboat shall thereafter be maneuvered in the water by the operating crew next we have the rescue boat which is deployed in case of man overboard emergencies according to regulations rescue boats may be either of rigid or inflated construction or a combination of both and shall not be less than 3.8 meter and not more than 8.5 meter in length rescue boats shall be capable of carrying at least 5 seated persons and a person lying on a stretcher these boats shall have sufficient mobility and maneuverability in a sea way to enable persons to be retrieved from the water a rescue boat shall be fitted with an inboard engine or an outboard motor Once the casualty is retrieved from the sea the boat is hoisted with the help of a crane and the recovery time of the rescue boat shall not be more than 5 minute in moderate sea conditions when loaded with its full complement of persons and equipment thanks for watching this video if you like the video please do subscribe to hmt's youtube channel for receiving further updates thank you